devoted to that which is not sacred. The profane is what the Freemasons call you. Chattel, compare with capital and cattle. A personal possession. Certain people under contract have no choice but to be microchipped by the government, the United States. The microchip program is being funded by the Freemasonic organizations. They allow toxic waste to be dumped into our water supplies and put into our toothpaste. The secret societies like to pound the idea into your head that aliens and UFOs are real, but they are the ones doing surgical acts on cattle. They like to scare people into believing that UFO abductions are an actual physical occurrence, when in reality all they want to do is hide their own aircrafts and special vehicles that they use for military purposes. The Kabbalists are the ones that make the crop circles, and they're not making them just for any reason. They show in this old newspaper how they thought that demons were making them, but perhaps the, the secret societies are demons. Here you see one in on this, in this Kabbalist book, it shows, it's a symbol, it's directly taken from a book. Um, these symbols are used for many different things. Some would call it magic. Others would call it trickery. <coughs> I believe this was taken by a Hubble Space Telescope, but the term we're looking for here is Vesigo, and it's a symbol of, the, of many things, but it's part of the Osirian cycle and it is shown around the obelisk in Washington DC where, where the Kabbalism is practiced. Kabbalism is based in the Hebrew beliefs and the, and the Phoenicians and Hebrew the word means one from the other side of the river and in the ancient world when you crossed a river you entered the underworld. They control your model or paradigm of reality with their belief systems. Their, their belief systems have to do with sacrifici sacrificing things. Sacrifice coming from Seker, holy. Here you see Obama sacrificing a reef in Israel. Sacrifice, an act of slaughtering an the God or divine supernatural figure. Offer or kill a religious sacrifice. The goat was sacrificed to the shrine. These people were sacrificed by the Kabbalists. The their main god, the bull god, he is El Taru, the the bull of Saturn, and he had seventy sons of Elohim, <coughs> and Saturn loved his sacrifices. <coughs> El was his name, and here you you see the the altar with three pillars around it, and and this is old Phoenician Kabbalism. Tanit, the Phoenician looter goddess, was wore the face of Baal, or the the face of Baal, or Saturn, the the horns, the the bull. <coughs> Keeping in mind that the oldest religion was astrotheology. Here you see in True Blood, the 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 goddess wearing the horns of Saturn. The the moon is a strange thing, and. Saturn, all these planets are very strange when when you start reading into the belief systems and stuff. But th there you see the, her holding like two trees. There was an old tree language that they used to have. But um, the the symbols they were they were called the stells of Tanit, and they were found all over. And the, the symbol of Tanit was of, was the trapezoid. And there was a, there's there's something called the order of the trapezoid. You'll have to look that up on your own. But this symbol, of this old goddess, is it can be found all over, and and it's it, it was eventually turned into an isosceles triangle, and was I believe also represented as by the Egyptians as oh excuse me. As the Ankh. Here you see the Ankh pla placed next to the Dej pillar of Saturn and the uh, other thing. But the the Stell, there was a there was a group called the Stell group. 
but uh, it, it says that um, I don't know. But anyways, you know, that's what I believe the symbol eventually turned into was that, and you, you see the Vatican has that same keyhole symbol, and so does the the um, the bicentennial mall, which Freeman talks about, has that same goddess keyhole symbol, and so does the seal that is the seal of the lesser keys of Solomon. But here you see it with the, fl uh, the flower of life circle. <coughs> the Kabbalists conducted passion plays, or um, c cremation of care, or met in all sorts of different different festivals and different New Year's events. And But here you see them all holding the, the ceremonial ceremonial, um, I don't even know what you call them, but they, they would perform incantations, a chant, you chant to enchant something, but uh, Saturnalia was believed to be part of the, the foundations of Christmas, and these people are Saturn, Saturn worshippers. Before the G, they had the, the, the triangle, the Hebrew letter Yod, but the Saturn was represented by a black cube, and you will find that same black cube in the UN headquarters in New York. William Cooper, in fact, does a an hour long radio broadcast about the the what he calls the unmeditation room, which contains the largest piece of magnetite uh, ever carved out. Next time you see a, a a senator, a judge, or anyone who could be a Kabbalist or Freemason realize that this is potentially what they believe in is is their their mighty Saturn God you know, with the, the the ram of the the ram of Mendez and the the whole star worship and the all of that and they believe that they're above people and and, and in their Kabbalist practices they all have deified ranks. Many, many deified ranks and many, many different ways of describing them, and many different orders in the ranks. But one rank is still used to this day, and that rank is Elizabeth, and it is a, is a word derived from Elisheva, meaning God is an oath, or, or. <coughs> but in Hebrew, God was El was Saturn, and you were taking an oath to Saturn, or perhaps seven oaths. The queen with her, with her Dijin orb, and her, and her throne that she so valiantly sits on. Here's the Pope's son, um, Borgia something, but anyways, that's not the point. The point is that, uh, that's not the point either. The point is that th these Phoenicians carvings show the orbs and and these people believe that they're the vicars of Christ and te and they they hold high ceremonies in honor of their secret religion and it doesn't matter what you believe because they're the ones holding the cards and when you see young Ratzinger, the, the Pope, saluting for the Nazis, maybe you should think about what they're doing and why they're destroying the shamanism <coughs> and why Sirius and Saturn are so important to them. And maybe then you can break the spell and don't let them take your quintessence away, because that's all you got.